imagine you're at your child's 18 month checkup and they tell you that your child is falling behind on their milestones and they want to reassess them in 24 months. Well, this happened to me. I started working with my child really hard during this time frame on talking, pointing. I realized he, not only was he falling behind on those milestones, but he was really struggling. Today I want to discuss with you of how children learn, play, and signs that parents need to look for if you think your child could possibly have autism. Children with autism are extremely smart. They are fun. They are just like a typical child, except how they learn is a little bit different. An autistic child can learn really fast if they're given the right tools. ASL, tablets. Things that are interested to them can help them really learn as well. They also have really high sensory seeking abilities. That means they can kind of feel things a little bit deeper than most people. This does help them to be able to understand things a little bit better. Now that I've explained how autistic children are smart, outgoing, I want to explain some of the symptoms that you can keep an eye out for. One is they zone out on things that they really enjoy. My child can swing and forget that the rest of the world exists. Like he's in the swinging moment and he can do this all day. They are also very sensitive to their surroundings like sound. My son when we go to Dollywood, we have to bring our wonderful wagon and a blanket and different toys that he can use to calm down. If the train goes off, he gets very overwhelmed with the sound, so he will put the blanket over his head and comfort himself by kind of forgetting that the rest of the world exists. Uh, now that I've identified some of the symptoms, I'd like to discuss the extra care that they need. Did you know that... Uh, Autistic children can need 25 to 30 hours of ABA therapy just to help them be able to learn normal day-to-day -day life, such as brushing your teeth, learning to use a fork or a spoon. Another therapy that they really need is speech. This helps them with ways of communication, with talking, or being able to sign or use objects to communicate with you. It's very important that they can communicate with you on what their needs and wants are. Autistic children are also no different than any other child. They're loving, they're smart, they're fun to be around, but they do need special care such as occupational therapy, speech, ABA therapy. I like to remember it by, as Forrest Gump would say, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> 